from the Manhattan Project through the Cold War. The 586 square mile Hanford site fulfilled its mission to produce plutonium for weapons associated with America's defense program. To support this nearly 50 year mission, nine plutonium production reactors and their associated facilities were built near the Columbia River. In large part, Hanford was selected for the Manhattan Project because the river provided a near limitless supply of cold water to cool the reactors. The reactors are located south of the Columbia River in the 100 area of the 220 square mile river corridor section of the Hanford site. The river corridor is also home to the 300 area where hundreds of research, development and fabrication facilities were constructed to manufacture nuclear fuel. During Hanford's plutonium production era, massive amounts of uranium were manufactured into fuel elements. The fuel elements were placed into the reactors where a nuclear chain reaction would transform the uranium into plutonium. The processes needed to produce plutonium resulted in huge amounts of wastes at the Hanford site. In the river corridor alone, hundreds of buildings and soil sites and billions of gallons of groundwater were contaminated with radioactive and hazardous materials. Today, the U.S. Department of Energy's top priority is to protect the Columbia River by placing the deactivated reactors in interim safe storage, moving highly radioactive material away from the river, decontaminating and demolishing facilities, cleaning up contaminated waste sites and burial grounds, and treating groundwater to remove contamination. While cleaning up the river corridor, workers encounter many different types of hazards. Extreme care is taken so that the waste does not contaminate the workers, the environment, or the public. Work on the river corridor began in 1994. In 2005, DOE awarded Washington Closure Hanford the contract to complete the river corridor cleanup project. About 60% of the cleanup has been completed. The work being performed is on track to meet DOE's vision to complete cleanup activities on the river corridor by 2015, which will reduce the remaining Hanford cleanup area to 75 square miles or less. Taking down buildings on the river corridor requires crews to use heavy equipment. Some of the buildings are either contaminated or contain hazardous materials such as asbestos, so crews must take every precaution to ensure safety. VPP is an excellence and safety program called the Voluntary Protection Program. It basically says that we don't just uh, try to do the minimum requirements, we actually go above and beyond. It is the demonstration of excellence in safety systems throughout the country. As of January 2011, the Department of Energy and its contractors have demolished about 45% of the 522 original facilities in the River Corridor. One of the largest river corridor projects is the placement of N reactor in interim safe storage, also known as cocooning. N reactor was the last operating reactor in Hanford and shut down about 1986. N reactor is unique because it was not only used for plutonium production, but also for generating electricity for consumption by the public. It was the only reactor of that type in the DOE complex. During cocooning, more than 80% of the reactor building is demolished down to the four-foot thick cement walls that surround the reactor core. All openings are sealed with concrete or plate steel, and a new long-lived roof is placed over the remaining structure. Reactors are placed in interim safe storage for 75 years, allowing radioactive materials in the core to decay to relatively manageable levels. Once every five years, the reactor is unsealed, inspected, and repaired if necessary. The world's first full-scale nuclear reactor, B Reactor, was designated as a National Historic Landmark by the United States Department of the Interior in 2008 and is being considered for historic preservation. The remaining reactors to be cocooned are the K-East and K-West reactors. In 2004, 
workers finished moving 2,300 tons of highly radioactive fuel slugs from basins next to the reactors into dry storage in the center of the site. The basin next to the K East reactor has been removed, and support facilities around both reactors are being demolished. Significant progress is also being made decontaminating and removing the laboratories and fuel manufacturing facilities in the 300 area. Many of the facilities were specially designed to conduct extremely hazardous experiments and handle highly radioactive materials. Part of the preparation for demolition includes removing hazardous materials such as lead, asbestos, oils, and other hazardous chemicals. In recent months, Hanford contractors altered the 300 area skyline by using explosives to demolish three structures, a 93 foot tall high bay and two associated buildings, and an exhaust stack. The associated buildings supported development and operation of the Fast Flux test facility. Workers also removed the iconic dome of the plutonium recycle test reactor. The 80 foot high dome which weighed about 71 tons, was one of the most distinctive and visible Hanford sites. Hanford contractors are also making major advancements in field remediation. As of January 2011, more than two-thirds of the 800 waste sites had been remediated. Workers are cleaning up liquid waste disposal cribs and trenches, buried pipelines, and areas contaminated by operational leaks and accidental spills. Buried materials include reactor hardware, spent nuclear fuel, research and development wastes, and byproducts from the manufacture of nuclear fuel. The cleanup process involves sampling and analyzing sites to determine the extent and type of contaminated materials, excavating and transporting them for disposal, one of the most challenging waste sites has been the 6187 burial ground, which held more than 800 barrels of hazardous materials, 20 large contaminated steel tanks, 100 drums of potentially pyrophoric zircaloy chips, and extensive amounts of lead contaminated soil. Hanford workers are also making detailed preparations to safely clean an even more complex site, the 61810 burial ground. The burial ground, which operated from 1954 to 1963, contains highly radioactive waste from Hanford's reactor fuel development and manufacturing facilities. In addition, preparations are underway at the 61811 burial ground, another of Hanford's most challenging cleanup projects. The site is adjacent to a commercial nuclear power plant and near the Columbia River. In order to reduce the risk to the Columbia River, contaminated materials and debris from the cleanup of buildings and waste sites along the river are taken to a disposal facility in the center of the Hanford site. The Environmental Restoration Disposal Facility is Hanford's on-site facility for low-level radioactive and hazardous waste. The Waste Operations Team disposed of nearly 1.8 million tons of waste material shattering the previous record set in 2005 by more than 700,000 tons. The massive landfill, which began operations in 1996, was recently expanded by 50% with the addition of two supercells to accommodate an unprecedented amount of cleanup waste on the Hanford site. The project is part of a $100 million expansion and construction effort funded by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Hanford workers face increasingly challenging and hazardous conditions on a daily basis. Thanks to the contributions of its dedicated employees, the challenges of cleaning up the river corridor are being met and on track to meet DOE's 2015 vision. And of course, safety always comes first on the river corridor closure project, where workers take pride in a strong safety culture and realize the success of any project depends upon a workforce that believes in a disciplined approach and teamwork.